Okay, guys. So. I. Have trouble making videos. And. The reason why I make videos sporadically is because my body dysmorphia flares up. And the reason why I will never be on a regular schedule is because of my body dysmorphia. Um, and I apologize if I look terrible. That's not... Making videos about your body and talking about your body, posting them online for everyone to see, will put a damper, will, make, will take a toll on your mental health. And why I don't make videos more frequently basically comes down to this, right? I am sick, okay? I, I am not usually in a place where I can make videos. I am not usually in a place where I feel comfortable with my, with seeing myself. And I want you guys to have my genuine thoughts, but it's hard to have my genuine thoughts when I'm too flustered about the way that I look. Um, it's not as simple as setting up a camera in my room and talking to it. It's never that simple. There's always a million steps to making a video. Um, even if my videos seem pretty, you know, normal, and um, not, they don't require like a lot of effort, it looks like. Mentally, they require a lot of effort. Even this one, even when I don't talk about anything important. Why my videos are either long or short or just inconsistent, I've already kind of accepted a long time ago that I could never be like a full-time YouTuber. I've already accepted it because I know that there's no way I could commit to that. There's no way I could commit to talking about my body dysmorphia as much as people might want to hear about my struggles and things like that. As much as people might want to know coping strategies. It's just not going to happen. Um, a lot of you guys are very understanding. Um... So I appreciate you for that. If I ever decide to take a break, you know, I hope you guys would still be there, but at the same time, I understand if you would rather leave and find someone more consistent with their uploads. Um, but yeah. Talking about body dysmorphia takes a toll on me. I have glue all over my hands, by the way. That's why I'm, like, picking at them. I was just doing a video for Patreon, and then it told me that I couldn't make that video for Patreon because it was too long. And so now I'm not really sure what to do about that. I might upload it to YouTube. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do about that. Um, anyway... I'm just Thanksgiving was today. Oh. Dr. Pepper is good. I'm like stressed out about family stuff. All I know is that, um, you know, if it comes time to take a break, I just don't want you guys to be surprised because it does seem like recently it is heading in that direction. Um, another break, even though I just had one. 
This is not going to be something that I can ever stop doing. I have to take breaks when I'm feeling bad about myself um, or else it's going to destroy me having that constant expectation of having a video up. Um, anyway, yeah, I guess that's really it. Like, this is why I don't post videos that often. This is why I'm not as present. I don't have the energy. I don't have the willpower. I don't have the self-esteem um, that a lot of YouTubers have. I'm just not that person. I'm not a constant go-getter. I'm not someone that can be that for you. Um, body dysmorphia really takes a toll on me. It really does. Anyway, I'm gonna try to upload this video and I'm gonna try not to body check for at least three days. I'm gonna challenge myself. So after this, no more body checking. No more body checking. Not for at least three days. No more looking at myself. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you guys. Um, feeling a rush of motivation. Thank you guys for watching. I might be uploading um, my little art video it's just a found things video where i like make a little moth it's pretty pretty standard pretty cute um but yeah thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video